Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use the uh, Touch of Color Pet Hair Dye. First thing you're gonna need is your Touch of Color uh, dye. You're gonna need foil, a small flat iron, and some kind of a heat shield. A heat shield comes with the uh, multi-pack or you can make your own out of cardboard. And this just prevents the dog from the steam. So now we're gonna get started. We're gonna take a section of hair, we want a color, twist it a little bit and apply the heat shield. I'm just gonna slide the hair through the slot in the shield. Now if you want to, you can take a clippy and clip it down so it'll stay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our foil, I like to fold over the edge. We're just gonna place it right up under our hair. And then we're gonna just start applying the color. I'm gonna do two colors. So I'm gonna do lime green and then do teal at the bottom. Spray a little bit. Teal at the bottom. And then I usually start by folding the bottom of my foil up. We're gonna make a little pocket around the hair. Fold the bottom, and I'll fold over each side to form a pocket. So now we've got the foil over the hair. Now we're gonna take our flat iron, and we're gonna heat it thoroughly. You need to make sure this gets really hot because the heat is what um, activates the color. Anywhere the color gets, it doesn't get hot, it will not stain. Again, that's what the heat shield is for. You wanna make sure the steam doesn't come up and burn the dog. And you'll hear a little bit of sizzling. That's the, uh, the liquid getting hot. All the way down to the end of the hair. And just watch your fingers because the foil gets hot. You don't want to lay the foil on the dog either. You want to make sure you don't burn them. And we should be good to go. And the more you heat it, the brighter the color will be. Like I said, the foil does get hot. Just make sure it doesn't touch the dog. There we go. We're ready to go wash and rinse.